Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at the LXLE Linux distribution. But before we get started, please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, those links are in the description down below. LXLE Linux. Right now we're at their website. It basically states it's a full-featured OS for an aging PC. This is LXLE OS 18.04.3 that we're looking at. It's light on resources, heavy on functions, always based on the Ubuntu or Ubuntu LTS. Uses an optimized LXDE user interface. It's simple, elegant, and a familiar desktop user interface. Prudent, full-featured apps. Latest stable version of all major apps, added PPA, extends available software, expose, arrow snap, quick launch, random and interval wallpaper changer, theme consistency throughout the system, 100 gorgeous wallpapers installed, numerous other tweaks and additions. It's still available in 32-bit as well, which comes in handy for those people that have older machines that they want to keep alive and keep working and boots and is online in less than one minute. I can say this, running it in a virtual machine, it come up really quick. Now I do wanna say that when I first booted up, I went over to control menu, hardware and monitors to get my resolution correct and it didn't have 1920 by 1080. Now I'm thinking this is because I'm in a virtual machine. So what I did do is I'm running at 1680 by 1050. So I apologize for the bars on the side. But we're going to continue anyway. It comes with the C Monkey browser out of the box. And the C Monkey project is a web browser, advanced email, news group, and feed client, and IRC chat, and HTML editing made simple. All your internet needs in one application. So when you start up C Monkey, this is the screen you're met with. You've got weather, you've got YouTube. These are all just minimized web pages. You can do a DuckDuckGo search here. You can add or subtract these as you see fit, and then that way when you have your home page pop up, it's got the information that you want on it, and you can integrate your emails and things like that into it. And this right here shows you what tabs you got open. I've got CMonkey open, LXLE open, and then my start screen open. And you can, I believe, view. You can zoom it up to 110 if you want. Okay, so I guess... What you would want to do is bump this up to 150. And that kind of gives you a bigger placement there. But it gets kind of fuzzy too. So you just have to play around with it. Another thing before we exit out of Sea Monkey, I want to go ahead and go through this real quick. If you look at the bottom left down here, you've got your browser, you've got mail. You've got mail and news groups integrated into your browser. So if you click on the envelope, you can come in here and set up your email. So that way you've got everything you need within your browser. So you can go ahead and set up your accounts. If you've got more than one, you can set up to three or four or five, how many ever accounts you got. You can set that up. You can set up your blogs or news feeds and then your news group accounts. So SeaMonkey is a quite capable browser and it's got the addition of email built in. Then you also have a composer, address book, IRC chat, and calendar. SeaMonkey is a pretty robust browser that offers a lot of tools that will be good for you. So let's close out of that. Now over here, you can see that you've got two panels. Up top here, you've got RAM usage. Right now, at rest, we're using 336 megabytes of RAM. I've only got two gigabytes issued to the machine. And then on CPUs, running about 0.51% of the two CPUs I have issued to it. Then you've got battery, sound, US keyboard, and then networking. And then in the center here, you've got time, date, and weather. If you click on the weather, it'll bring up your weather forecast right there. I like that. It kind of gives you that old look. That's cool. Let's close out of that. Wrong location, but it still gave me weather. And then down on the bottom panel, when you open up tabs, the tabs actually collect on the bottom panel. And you've got four desktops that you can switch between down here. And then you can left click here to iconify all windows and then expose. Okay, file manager is open. Now on the file manager, it is the PC Man FM. It's a lightweight file manager using libfm. As you can tell, you've got your usual suspects over here. 
and then you've got your regular folders here. It's just a quick, light, fast file manager that doesn't get in your way and lets you do what you need to do. Then we've got random wallpaper. You just click on it, and it looks like you've got more wallpapers than I thought. There are some beautiful wallpapers. I'll leave that one there. Let's go over here real quick and see if it has HTOP installed. Does not. Let's see if it's got top. And it does. And top verifies that we're using about 290 megabytes at rest, which is insanely low on resources. I am very impressed by this. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Let's go back over here. You've got accessories. You've got your file manager, paper rotator, pluma, random wallpaper, screenshot, audio. You've got Arista transcoder, Audacity, Parole Media Player, Pitavi, Simple Screen Recorder. You've got some games. You've got Mirage, Photo Print, Simple Image Reducer, Internet, SeaMonkey, Transmission for your torrents, Chatzilla, Fire, FTP, Office. You've got Abbey Word. Address, Bookworm, Calendar, Composer, Dictionary, Home Bank, Spice Up, Control Menu. You got Easy Stroke, Gesture Recognition, Expose, Florence Virtual Keyboard, Quick Launch, Hardware, Bluetooth, Brightness, Driver, Keyboard, Monitor, Security, Activity Log, Firewall, Settings. You can change Customize Feel and Look and Feel. Default, let's customize Look and Feel. Widget, your widgets are running in Graybird. Let me make this bigger, guys. Let me just make it full screen. We're running in gray bird. Let's try gray green. Greenish, flat gray, darkish. I like that. I think I'll stick with that. Color, you can change window colors over here. Icon themes. Right now, we're using LXLE Mentory. You could use Ubuntu if you wanted to. Ubuntu Transitional or Ubuntu Dark Panel. I'll leave it on that. Mouse cursor. You can change your mouse cursor. You've got whites. You've got different looks. Window borders. We're on gray bird. If we went navy dark, you could do that. Let's apply that and see what that looks like. And then you've customized that. So I'm going to leave that there. I like that. And then fonts. Anti-aliasing is on. Enable hinting. Subpixels. And then other. Toolbar style. Text besides icons, toolbar icon size, large toolbar icons. So you can come in here and do some major customization if you want to. So let's close out of that. Back over to settings. Desktop preferences, install LXLE Linux, light DM, GTKA, greeter settings, power management, preferred applications, shortcut keys, windows effects, shadow, opacity, fade, other. I mean... The customization that you can do on this distribution is just insane. Software, check and install packages, Synaptic Package Manager, YPPA Manager. Let's check Synaptic. Those of you that are familiar with Debian or Ubuntu are probably quite familiar with Synaptic. Basically what you do if you've never used it before, just pick you a category. I'll go to Video Software. And then right here it'll give you what's installed. But what you can do is you can actually do a search, search for OBS. And as you notice, OBS is right here. There's everything you need for OBS. So let's say you wanted to go OBS, mark for installation. It would tell you everything that you needed to add to it. Dependency wise, you would mark all of those for installation. Then you would just come up here and click apply. So if you've got a favorite application out there that you wanted to find, just do the search. Go through there. That's how you would install it. Let's close out of that. And then, of course, the GW package installer. If you go online and find a dev package that is not included in the distribution or you can't find it on Synaptic, you download it, just right-click it, open it with GW package installer, and it will install it to your system. And then utilities, bleach bit, disk usage, gparted, search for files and folders, USB image formatter, USB stick formatter, and then run, search, shut down. I'm impressed with the LXLE Linux distro. It's light, it's quick, it's snappy. You can change wallpapers by a click of a button. That's probably one of my favorite things about it. If you want to try a distro that's definitely lightweight, but snappy, quick, and is based on Ubuntu, zip on over to their website, lxle.net. Download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, take it for a test drive. I'm pretty sure you'll be impressed. Before you go today, do me a big favor. 
like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, if you want to follow me on social, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, those links are in the description down below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.